Hey guys, this is Fahad, and today I thought I'd make a quick video talking about how to read nutrition um, labels here in Japan. Um, they're actually really good about having them on the back of pretty much every single package. The problem is, is they're always going to be in Japanese. Um, but the thing is, it's not that difficult to read. Uh, you know, there's only a few key characters that you want to look out for. That'll give you a good idea of pretty much, you know, the fat, the carbs, and all that good stuff that you're about to eat. So uh, let's go ahead and check some things out. So I just went ahead and grabbed the first three things that I saw in the kitchen. I got a bottle of extra virgin olive oil, a big bottle of water, and then a pack of miso soup. And I got them because the labels are a little bit different, but I wanted to show you guys like the common features so you know, um, you know, whenever you come across any different type of label, what to look for. So let's start off with the olive oil. So I'm gonna turn it around. And here on the back, you immediately see numbers so you know what's going on. Now, some keywords that automatically give it up here are like the calories, right? So you, that's English, so you know, right? So it has 126 calories. But what am I looking for over here? So first off, this right here, this kanji that says atari. Atari means per. So this says per 14 grams, and then you have the nutrition information. So, you know, you have, en this says energy in katakana, ener energy, which says 126 calories. Then you have this kanji right here, which says shishitsu, which means fat. So fat, being that this is olive oil, is 14 grams per 14 gram serving, which is pretty obvious, right? Then you've got these other words at the bottom. This is tanpakushitsu. Tanpakushitsu is protein. Tansui kabutsu. Tansui kabutsu is carbohydrates. And Na is sodium, which is zero. Um, since this is olive oil, all those things are zero. So that's what you get. Now the drawback of things in Japan is they're not nearly as uh, detailed and it's not as standardized as it is in America. Um, I'm not sure about other countries, but in America you have pretty much every label looks the same, right? Over here they don't. And uh, here's an example. Now on this water, um, it's much more jumbled. It's less organized. So you're just like, where the hell do I look? Now in this, in this situation, there's a couple of key things you can look for. So, especially if you can't read Japanese. So right here, we're back to that same kanji, right? The atari kanji with 100 milliliters atari, so per 100 um, milliliters. Again, we've got the katakana for energy, which is, um, well, this is water. So, you know, energy, energy, tanpakushitsu, shishitsu, tansui kabutsu, all are zero. Now, here's something that's interesting to look at. So next to it, now you notice there's no NA, right? So that NA is actually pretty rare. Usually they write it in katakana and they write natoriumu. Natoriumu. It's actually from the Latin for sodium, which is N for NA, which is actually um, natrium or natrium, however you want to say it, which in this is actually 0.79 milligrams. Right next to it, they have kadushiumu, calcium, kadushiumu, which is 1.3 milligrams. Next to that, they've got right here, let me point it to them. Right here, they've got magnesiumu, magnesium, magnesium, 0.65 milligrams. And then they've got kadiumu, kadiumu, or kalium for potassium, which is K on the periodic table. Um, here, it's 0.14 milligrams. Now, if you notice, they give you a lot more information just randomly on this water. Um, so that's just how it is, it's pretty inconsistent. One thing you do notice, you don't see like saturated fats, you don't see um, trans fats and stuff like that very often on labels here. Now here's something that's kind of like a variety pack. So this miso thing has three different flavors of, um, um, of miso soup in here. So I wanted, I wanted to show you this because it's kind of like, whoa, what's, what's all this going on? So um, well, one thing I wanted to talk about real quick is at the top left, these kanji right here. You see these kanji? So this actually says, Eiyo hyoji, Eiyo hyoji, which means nutrition, like information or expression or whatever. So it's nutrition information. And actually all three of these things have that written somewhere. Um, again, it's not standardized like in America where it's just nutrition information. So let's check the olive oil real quick. Olive oil, where are you? Where are you? Here we go. Now here it's a little different. This says Eiyo sebum, which means like nutrition content, right? And on the water, looking for it on the water, right here. This says, Eiyo Seibun Hyoji. So it says everything. So it's gonna be kind of, um, like I said, it's not really standardized the same, 
But one thing you can look for is this kanji right here, the AO kanji, which is definitely, which just means nutrition. So going back to the miso soup, so three different types of things, types of soup in here. Again, we've got the energy, which is 26, 25, 25, um, tanpakushitsu protein, and you can just keep saying, I'm not going to read them all off. Shishitsu, tansuikabutsu, natoriumu, right? So all of those things are on here. And the serving size, uh, now we're here. At the top, this just says atari and hiragana. It doesn't have the kanji. So that tells you one, I, one like packet of it, right? Is these are, the, these are the contents depending on the packet. So as you can see, there's not a lot of consistency and the information isn't exactly super detailed, but um, you will be able to at least count calories and do stuff like that. Um, if that's what you're, you know, if that's what you're, the kind of stuff that you're into uh, when you're here in Japan. So that's it for the video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments and I'll try my best to answer everything. Um, until the next video, I'll see y'all later.